It's another YouTuber fight day. Michael Buffer is like, please welcome to the ring Suicide Forest Guy. Logan's thinking, fuck me, I'm trying to move on from that. He's wearing an apocalyptic Hannibal Lecter mask. I suppose it looks badass. He greets the crowd. Jake, Chloe and his parents go wild. And he has a bit of water from his sippy cup. Buffer yells, please welcome the other guy. Yeah. KSI is thinking, fuck me, it's KSI. Knowledge, strength, integrity. He pauses for dramatic effect. It works quite well. Yeah, nah, he looks a bit spooky. Three, two, one, serial killer face activated. Oh, his back was turned. He missed the face. The referee is like, okay, boys, so far the event is on fleek. It is lit AF, so let's keep it that way. Me favorite moment was when FaZe Sensei hit that bloke in the liver and when Racker Racker called out YouTube. More of that. Touch gloves, touch gloves, and fucking piss off. Are all the promotional videos done? Yep, okay, here we go, round one. Hopefully there's less dabbing and more jabbing from Logan. Yes, there we go, he pushes the jab button, and KSI fires off a couple. Logan and his go-go gadget arms are getting a little cocky early on, and you gotta be careful not to muck around too much in case you get knocked the fuck out. Gee whiz, people have aggressively used Logan as a verbal punching bag for nine months and now today Logan punching bag Paul gets to throw some hits back. I'd say he's got round one into round two and KSI is desperate for fucking blood. The Ohio boy is a slippery bastard though. You try to hurt him and he responds with a hug. Kapow, wham, boosh, ding ding ding. Oh KSI loses his shit. He's like I'm just sick of your fucking face. Jake storms in with his little belt hot off a win. Everyone yells Sit down! Round three and KSI decides to show up. Thank fuck. Logan tries to end the round with another hug. KSI yells, I don't need hugs in me life, mate. Fucking crikey bullshit hugs. The ref reminds them to stay on fleek and makes them do a bro fist. Coach says, oi, hit him in the titty. KSI goes for the face, the titty, the face again. Oh, he almost landed a hyper uppercut. I don't know what this move is called. This fight could be turning into prison rules. Into round five, Logan wants KSI to smell his armpit. The ref quickly says, you don't have to. Yeah, nah, nah, that's not a trend. Don't do that. Logan gets back to boxing properly. He has a burst of energy. If you won't smell me armpits, then I'll make you smell me maverick gloves, which are on sale at shop.loganfucking.com or some shit. KSI discovers he has second wind in the final round, but Logan is getting very hard. He's walking into punches like he's in fucking season 20 of The Walking Dead. KSI is trying to go full Rick Grimes on him. Logan is like one of those relentless zombies. You just can't get him out of your personal space bubble. Yep, uh, the undead eats one more hit right as the bell goes, and that's the end. The judges take their time. They don't want to incite a riot, and it's a draw. Yep, okay, we will be doing this all over again. It's a draw. The comment section is shocked, although it doesn't take them long to start arguing. True Geordie and Logan are having a deep and meaningful here in regards to Logan's career. He unleashes manly feelings. He thanks KSI for getting him out of the house. KSI is like, no worries, it's good to get out of the house. And yeah, that concludes fight day. I reckon that was good value for money. I'm glad a YouTube event wasn't a complete disorganized hunk of junk. And well done to everyone who showed up. You didn't have to do that, but you did. So that's worth some fucking recognition.